Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Taro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Who's coming toward you in love? This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different options. Option one, purity. Option two, guardian angel. Option three, awakening. And quattro, option four, peace. As always, timestamps will be provided. Take a deep breath and make your selection. If you chose the first card, purity, here is your reading. This is from Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. Healing Light Tarot. So if you chose Pile 1, you could have strong Virgo placements in your natal chart. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. You could have a moon that makes a lot of aspects. Or a soft Mercury, meaning a feminine Mercury. Mercury in a water sign or an earth sign. Mercury in Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn. Five of Swords, Cinco de Espadas, King of Pentacles, Ray de Oros, King of Wands, Ray de Bastos. Flipped out. Ace of Wands, Aste Bastos, Dos Mas. Flipped out. These two flipped out. I'll take them. The Joker. I keep the Jokers. They amplify the cards that they touch. And then Two of Hearts, Two of Cups, those the Copas. Very good. Okay, the next person to come into your life is going to be your quote-unquote person. This is someone you're going to have optimal happiness with. It's very likely the two of you will get married. This is someone you will very likely regard as a soulmate. You've been waiting for this person for a while The seeds have been planted. You are manifesting this beautiful, deeply gratifying sexual romantic relationship that will lead to marriage. King of Pentacles is the husband card, and that is being amplified. This is someone new. So that's going to be really good news for a lot of people, people who do not want an ex to come back. This is not an ex. This is someone new. This person is very lusty. They have a very strong libido. They work hard. They have a very stressful job. This person is ambitious. They're very high functioning, but when they're not at work, they want to have a lot of sex. And they like to socialize, drink, hang out, talk to friends. If this is a man, I can see him being in the gym a lot. That's how he blows off steam. He's in the gym. He could be running. He could be jogging. He could be playing tennis. If this is a woman, I can see her being really intense with yoga. 
But regardless, this person takes really good care of themselves. They have this good, clean energy, high vibration, good self-esteem, good habits, good routines. A possible astral combo for this person, they could have Sun in Virgo, Aries rising, Moon in Scorpio, one possibility of many. I'm getting a T name. Tyler, Terrence, Terrell, Tyrone, um, Teresa, Tracy, Trixie, Tristan. I'm getting extrovert vibes. This person has really strong opinions, definite beliefs. They could be spiritual, not religious, but I feel like they were brought up in a very strict religion like Catholicism or Baptist. And I can see you meeting this person in the spring, in airy season. I associate Ace of Wands with Aries because Aries is the beginning and Aries is the first fire sign in the fire trinity. So timeless reading. I'm recording this. I'm uploading this in airy season, but it could be airy season 2025, airy season 2026. Doesn't have to be airy season, but that's what I'm getting is that you'll meet this person in the spring. Airy season to be specific. And I feel like you'll meet this person at some kind of work-related function, like an office party or through friends, through co-workers, something like that. But yeah, that's what I see for Pile 1. I hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. So all the info is in every box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose card number two, Guardian Angel, here's your reading. This is from Victoria Mosley's Vintage Wisdom Oracle. If you chose pile two or card two, you could have an air ascendant, possibly. You could have Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra rising. Healing Light Tarot. Uno más. Devil, El Diablo, Capricorn, Queen of Swords. Reina de Espadas, Judgment, El Juicio, Sagittarius, Wish Fulfillment, Nine of Hearts, Nine of Cups, Nine of the Copas. Four of Diamonds, Four of Pentacles, Cuatro de Oros. Jack of Diamonds, Knight of Pentacles, Caballo de Oros. Okay, so there is some resistance here. Um, you may have a pretty clear idea of what you want to manifest, the kind of relationship you want to manifest, the kind of person you would like to welcome into your life. But there are some things you have to go through. Um, I don't see this happening. I don't see this person coming toward you anytime soon. For some of you who chose Pile 2, it could be that you're still very energetically attached to an ex or a connection that's never really come together and solidified and turned into a relationship. You have to release something for you to... 
uh, clear space and welcome in this new person. You have to let something go. You could be struggling with an addiction or you're just caught up in some kind of karmic loop and you got to get out of that karmic loop to make space for this new person. And when you do meet this person, it's going to take some time for it to progress. You could start off as friends. Could be a bit of an age gap. You could be a few years older than this person. This person is very reserved, very cautious. I'm seeing a really intense introvert. I feel like you both have trust issues because of previous relationships. And so it's going to be a process for sure, learning to open up to each other and be vulnerable. You could meet this person at work. You could have a hobby or a passion in common like music, writing, acting, something like that. This is not quite as strong and definite as pile one. You may be in your head a lot. You may need to relax. If this resonates at all, I would really recommend implementing a routine and being consistent, like waking up and before you turn on the phone, meditate. Um, start a gratitude journal. Wake up, make a cup of coffee or tea, drink some water, whatever. Look out the window, look at the backyard or wherever you are. Find some beauty. Focus on the beauty and express gratitude. So, um, yeah, this energy is very slow. It's very sluggish. I would recommend meditation and subliminals if you are stuck, if you feel like, I don't know, if it's been a while, you've been alone for a while, and you really want to manifest this romantic sexual relationship. Take good care of yourself and implement a routine and be consistent. A possible astral combo for this person that you'll meet eventually Um they could have Sun and Taurus, Sagittarius, Rising, Moon and Capricorn. That's just one possibility. And also, if you're stuck, I would recommend finding something to just pour yourself into. Get excited about something. For me, like I've said numerous times, lately for the past few months, it's been FL Studio. I'm just having fun with it. I'm just having a lot of fun making these tracks and splattering my spaghetti all over YouTube's walls, <clears throat> various channels. I've just found a lot of joy in it. So find joy in something, and that's how you're going to manifest this relationship. Yeah, that's what I see for Pile 2. I hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. All that goes in every box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose card three, Awakening, here is your reading. This is from Victoria Mosley's Vintage Wisdom Oracle. If you chose card three, you could have strong Venus Pluto in your natal chart. You could have Venus conjunct Pluto, Venus trine Pluto, Venus square Pluto, Venus opposite Pluto. You could also have some stuff going on in your eighth house, the house of Scorpio. Maybe you have Venus in Scorpio, Venus in the eighth. Healing Light Tarot.
Four of Cups, Cuatro de Copas, Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros, Eight of Pentacles, Ocho de Oros, Eight is Capricorn, Four is Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you who chose card three, you're just done. You're not looking for anything. You're not hoping. Um, you kind of given up. You're not focusing on relationships right now. I feel like you're working on yourself, your career, and you're just watching out of boredom, curiosity. You find my videos entertaining, maybe. Um, but you're not really waiting for someone to show up. You're not really hoping. Because the last relationship took a lot out of you. And you're feeling drained and you're feeling a bit cynical. Joker, the Jokers amplify the cards they touch. So you're not in the best place right now. You could just be feeling, uh, you just feel like your life is really mediocre right now. The Blazing Sword of Truth, Ace of Spades, Ace of Swords, Ostea Spadas. Two of Hearts, Two of Cups, those the Copas. But if you're honest with yourself, <clears throat> if you're really honest with yourself, you do hunger for something deeply gratifying. You are a romantic at heart. A cynic is a romantic who has been badly disappointed. Okay, you've been very disappointed. But deep down inside, some part of you is still holding on to hope that eventually you'll meet the one, the person who is perfect for you. Your soulmate your optimal life partner, someone you can respect, someone you can laugh with, someone you can have amazing sex with, someone you can have mental telepathy with. Maybe Pisces is your seventh house. I can relate to this. <clears throat> seventh house is the house of partnership. When Pisces is your seventh house, you want a mystical divine kind of relationship where there is a spiritual component, mental telepathy. Um, you can just be together doing nothing and the energy is just fucking amazing. A soulmate kind of relationship. That's what you really want. But you're not going to settle until the right person comes along. You're taking care of yourself. Um, uh, you're focused on your wellness and your career. So I don't see anyone coming into your life anytime soon. Um, you'll know that this person's the one for you. You'll know that this person is coming in as possibly your life partner when right away you feel kinship with that person. You're not seeing the red flags and you have shared values and beliefs. As boring as that may sound. Um, it's like I've joked before numerous times. If I didn't ignore the red flags, well, I wouldn't have had any relationships. I kind of had to ignore the red flags to have relationships. But when you're really working on yourself and you're not just jumping into a relationship to be with someone, you're okay with being alone. That's when you're going to manifest something really yummy and gratifying that can be sustained, that can last. So I've heard. So, yeah. Um, you're okay with being alone until the absolute right person materializes. You probably have strong earth <clears throat> in your natal chart. And maybe this person that you will meet eventually, maybe you'll have a conjunction in Capricorn. Maybe you'll both have um, moon, conjunct moon in Capricorn, something like that. 
that you're going to recognize each other. You're going to have tremendous respect for each other. And you're just going to fall into this easy harmony right away. I mean, any relationship requires work and effort, but right away there's going to be this easy flow of communication. You're going to understand each other, and it will be well worth the wait. Yeah, that's what I see for Pile 3. Hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. I do this full-time. All the info is in every box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Quattro, card four, peace. Here is your reading. This is from Victoria Mosley's Vintage Wisdom Oracle. If you chose card four, you could have a water moon. Your moon could be in Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or you could have your moon on an angle. So an angle would be the first house, fourth house, seventh house, tenth house. You could have your moon in one of those houses, or you could have a moon that makes a lot of aspects. Healing Light Tarot. Six of Wands, says the Bastos. Ooh, beautiful. Two of Cups, Dos de Copas. King of Wands, Ray de Bastos. Looking good so far. Three of Spades, Three of Swords, Trace de Espados. Ten of clubs, ten of wands, deus de bastos. <clears throat> Gotta clear the throat chakra. <clears throat> I don't know if all the sage and incense I've been burning on the altar lately is affecting my throat chakra. Probably. <clears throat> ah, and I was singing karaoke yesterday. YouTube karaoke from the comfort of my computer in my bedroom. Okay. Another 10, so I'm getting strong Leo vibes. 10 of hearts, 10 of cups, the, the copas, because 10 is one Leo, the sun. We have two 10s and the king of wands. So the person coming into your life could have sun and Leo, Scorpio rising, moon and Libra. It's one possibility of many. So who is this person? What are they all about? This person is a romantic. When you start talking, I can see this person. Oh, I'm looking at the stove clock at 6.06, .06, make a wish. That's three, the most optimistic number. 12, one, two, three, Jupiter Sagittarius. Um, when y'all start talking, they could send you a lot of playlists. You gotta hear this song. Oh, this song reminds me of you. This song reminds me of you. Could play a guitar. I'm getting strong musician vibes. They could be the lead singer of a band or they could be the drummer of a band. They could be in a band, basically. They could be in a band. They could write poetry, write songs, write music. You will be the muse. They will write songs, poetry about you. And it's going to be intense when you meet. You might feel like you're dreaming. Uh, you may feel like this person's out of your league. You feel like it's way too good to be true. It's like being in a movie. It's like being in a dream. Um, this is your person. This is who you've waited for all your life. All the mediocre relationships, all the bullshit relationships you had to go through and here is the person, the perfect person for you. Or maybe you're lucky. Maybe this is the first person you've ever been with and it's just magical and it's like a fairy tale and you're just really lucky. You're meeting this person before any damage was done. 
that's the ideal, but life doesn't always work like that. Um, so yeah, you could have moon conjunct moon or sun conjunct moon. That's the so-called soulmate aspect. That's the strongest. From what I've read, from what I've heard, sun conjunct moon is the strongest soulmate aspect. Venus conjunct Neptune, Venus conjunct moon. You have really good, delicious synergy with this person. And I do see you getting married. Uh, you're going to marry each other eventually. And I don't feel like it's going to be a long, drawn-out courtship. You see some couples who have been fucking around for years, and they finally get married after being together for five years, whatever. It's not going to be like that for pile four, according to these six cards. Um, I can see you getting married within just a few months of knowing each other because you just know, this is my person. This is the one that I've waited for. And you're not seeing the red flags, okay? And I see you exchanging vows with tears of joy in your eyes. This is really romantic. How are you going to meet this person? I don't know. I feel like um, for a few of you, this is going to be someone that you reconnect with on social media. So you might have uh, gone to high school or college together and then you reconnect on Facebook or Instagram, some damn thing. And for others, it could just be a total random, synchronous, serendipitous meeting. You're getting ice cream. You're getting coffee. Uh, you're at the deck park. There he is. There she is, looking at the stove clock at 6.09. Six, six is Venus. Yeah, this is great. I'm getting E names. E. Ed, Edward, Eddie, EJ, uh, Elsa, uh, Elk. Someone named Elk. E L K. I've never known anyone named Elk. I've never heard of anyone named Elk, but. There are all kinds of names. Alicia Silverstone, the actress from Clueless. I have her cookbook, The Kind Diet. Her son's name is Bear. So yeah, Elk, Elko, Elko Nevada, um, Emma, Emily, Estrogen, Emerald, I just, but yeah, getting an e-name. Ernesto, Ernie, Okay, that's pile four, and that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.